big red fresh capsicum, wash them first and then simply put them into a, a very hot oven. That's the secret, a hot oven. So I'm going to turn the oven up to about 200 degrees and we just leave them in the oven like this until the skin starts to get crisp and blacken a little bit. And we, that will take about an hour or so. We turn them every now and again and then the real magic is what we do with the capsicum after they've cooked. Okay folks, we've got three pretty happily cooked capsicums. Just about ready for taking the skin off, cutting them up and adding the yummy condiments. More on that in a moment. But this is pretty much the stage I think at which you would take them out of the oven. Yes, there's enough black, you don't want to burn the things, but that charred capsicum taste which is obtained through letting them cook to about this stage is part of the taste sensation. All right. Okay folks, well, we're ready to rock and roll. I've taken the uh, capsicum out of the oven and I didn't take my own good advice when I opened it up. I got a blast of scalding hot air in the face. <laughs> dear oh dear. So be careful when opening oven doors, yes, especially when you're cooking something with a high uh, moisture content that's going to turn almost into steam. All right, now the next stage is relatively simple, but it's probably the stage I both least enjoy and almost most enjoy. It all depends on how well the skin is going to fall off the capsicum. And so we take the skin off and keep in mind again, it's going to be from time to time fairly hot. Even if you've left a couple of minutes, you see how nice, ouch, easily the skin tends to come off. And that's what we want, this lovely unpeeling. Now, an important thing my mother always says is, leave the seeds don't feel like you have to get rid of the seeds um ooh, oh mm, ouch i might leave that for a moment or two more let's have a look at this one oh look at that isn't that gorgeous isn't it lovely just peeling the skin off and that beautiful fruit underneath very very nice don't skimp on your capsicums buy nice fresh ones nice decent ones not those that a knockdown bargain price you want the premium beautiful capsicums and you'll get the best results of course all right so I'll leave that for a moment or two let the uh, fruit get a little bit cooler and then I will remove the skin and show you what comes next All right, folks, again, after about um, 10 minutes work, you can see that uh, the majority of the skin has been removed from the capsicum. Do you have to get every little bit of skin off? Well, it depends what your star sign is. I guess if you're a Virgo, yes, you do. If you're some other sort of star sign, I'm a Leo, so near enough is good enough for me. But I have, as you see, taken probably 90 percent plus there's a little bit left there it's not going to kill anybody is it just to have a little bit of skin left over but um, ideally yes you would remove all of the skin and I'm sure there are certain tricks actually possibly even some cold water the reason I didn't want to put cold water in is I, I really want to retain as much of the natural juices and taste and the cold water if they were put in cold water even if that lifted the skin a bit that would also in a sense, leach out some of that beautiful, rich capsicum taste. What a beautiful, sexy fruit it is. What do we do next? Well, pretty simple. Just cut it up into bite-sized bits, bits that are going to fit onto 
biscuits because that's the sort of dish this is it's um, not a main dish by any means it's a additional dish for uh, cheese olives glass of red wine of course and it's a great dish to put on a piece of toast for lunch even yes it's a lovely satisfying dish and very healthy lots of vitamin C all the rest of it all the great vitamins that we require so what next all right we've cut it up into diced it in a sense now careful yes that's okay simply have it into another dish keeping all of the juice all of the water all of the seeds mind you I did take the stalks out yes so keep the seeds remove the stalks so what I mean by stalks yes the stalks here good once we have it at this stage well the fun begins yes of course there's no Italian cooking or very little Italian cooking without olive oil <laughs> don't hold back and after that it's the usual your favorite herbs and spices so, I'm not a great fan of salt that's probably just a bit too much for me even I love pepper What else? Well, that's all Italian cooking needs, isn't it? Don't be so silly, Matthew. The master ingredient, of course, olive oil and garlic. And so I'm quite generous again with the garlic, quite coarsely chopped. Mix it all in. What else could you do? Hmm. Well, finally, a sprinkling of mixed herbs. Simple as that. You could add all sorts of things it just depends on your palate and how you enjoy your food tasting that's probably enough now I'm not going to taste it now because in fact this dish and I'm going to wait for Partha to come home is one of those dishes that really really improves after a bit of time given even a couple of hours to let all of those beautiful flavors sink in so let's wrap it up I'll put it in the fridge in a moment and when Partha gets home I'll surprise him with a finished capsicum dish dish rightio hey Partha hi hi Welcome home.